The following program contains graphic language, which may be offensive to some viewers. Tell you what, we can't talk, we can't show you the picture, yeah. but she has a very nice bleached bum hole. <laughs> Life. And welcome, welcome News Anchor indeed. style. Welcome again. Episode 13. Mm-hmm. We literally just discussed that 20 seconds ago. <laughs> and I still fumbled it. What are you fucking retarded? I was like, episode 13? 13. Episode 13, The Liquid Chronicles. I'm L. I'm Neil. Hello, welcome to Jose. <laughs> By the way, Jose, just forgot to say this off camera, but I'm going to say it now. Is your phone turned off? It's not turned off, but it's, um... No, uh, Can you it's, put it on airplane mode? I mean, I can't search for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Taking risks. It won't, that's why it's over there. Welcome. We're, 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 Welcome we're, to we're the We're trying to keep Chronicles. it, you don't need to search for anything. Right, right. <laughs> uh, so we did two conspiracy episodes. Mm-hmm. Conspiracy part one dropped today. Yep. And I had to pull my finger out, edit conspiracy part two, which I will do. Um, are we having any lighting issues? I'm not. I don't no, care. I'm not no. even gonna edit this out. No, no, no. I'm, ju- I'm, I'm double. Yeah, I'm just double checking things. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Um. So yeah. Anyway, welcome, Delinquent Chronicles. Lucky number thirteen. Mm-hmm. What? What else? What? Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. That's a bad thing. Any other thirteens? I don't know. Thirteens lucky in some um, cultures. Oh, let's hope it's lucky today. Um, <laughs> we might do some mug shorty stuff. I know you got some stuff going on. I wanted to throw some fun facts out before right. we start. Yes. Some fun facts I learned. Did you know mm-hmm. that John Williams' son? Which John Williams? The guitarist as or in the, 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 the. No, there's in the composer. As in the composer, the composer John, John Williams. John Williams. Yeah. His son mm-hmm. did the voice, the singing voice for Simba. In Lion King. No way. Yeah. What? Adult Simba? Adult Simba. Wow. That's insane. I, I, wow. Also, his son, mm-hmm. who did the voice for Adult Simba, uh, Adult Simba, mm-hmm. is also the voice of the lead singer of the band, Toto. Toto? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. As in the Africa song. Yeah. In Africa. Yeah. No I way. down in Africa. Sorry, I can't sing, but yeah, you get it. That... Same guy. I mean, wow. Okay. Same guy. Fun fact. Wow. <laughs> Fun I, fact. Wow. Friday thirteenth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I say thirteenth with an F, that's all alliteration, baby. Yeah. Well, jo- John Williams' children is a music composer. Um, something you probably guys don't pay attention to. And um, he's the goat of music composers. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the goat. The goat. <laughs> Um, uh, look him up. Everything that you've heard from our era that is popular is probably um, composed by him and some others. Yeah. So what, yeah. he, what do you do? He's a Superman, yeah. Jurassic uh, Park, yeah. Star, Star Wars, Wars e. Indiana Jones, yeah. E.T. Color Purple. Color Purple. <laughs> the Warner Brothers intro. Yeah. That was him yeah. too. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. He redid the Fox one as well. Uh, um, Minority Report. Uh, yeah, he's a he's very very well known. Yeah. He, obviously, not just Star Wars, but also Star Wars: Duel of the Fates. Yeah. Yes. Which is like the best Star Wars composed piece of music going. Mm. Anyway, yeah, his son <laughs> is the lead singer of the band Toto, who sang okay. famous songs like "Hold the Line" and "Rosanna" and the famous one "Africa." Africa. So there you go. But so so, so I, I just need to uh, insert, uh, make sure people know how important John Williams is. At the Oscars, when a composer wins an Oscar, they always say thank you to John Williams because they know he is the best. Or if you, you can look it up, all the comp- not all of the composers, but most composers when they win an Oscar, they give a nod to John Williams and he inspired that the whole generation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, so there, that was my one of my fun facts. The other fun fact is, mm-hmm. do you guys remember the song, the ketchup song? No. With the, with the girls? 
I said, hey, hey, yes. hey, 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 Yeah, you remember that song, They're right? both yeah, dead, right? Uh, sorry? They're both dead. What? No, dude. Even better than that. Thank you. <laughs> even yeah, better yeah. than that. <laughs> Jesus. No, 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 no. Not that they're both dead. Just, this is just an interesting piece of information. Okay. You're going to say even better. I just thought it was kind of weird. Right. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Do you remember that song? To that song, I said, a hair, ha, a hair. Do you remember? Do you know what they're saying? No. No. Do, 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 the, the lyrics? No? no, no. I, I never, I never I mean, I know was, the song exists. Okay. I so, never thought to pay attention to them because so it's a pop song. So the lyrics song. are, I said a hair, ha, a hair, a heaven to the heaven they said, would you know my, my, like, like, exactly like that, right? Okay. Do you know what the song's about? No. <laughs> Dude, when I learned this, my mind was blown, yeah? Yeah. The song is about a guy called yeah. Diego. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lyrics are about this dude who likes to go clubbing. The guy called Diego. Mm-hmm. And he likes to go out drinking and partying and having a good time. Yeah. You right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And having a good time. And then he goes to a bar and he wants the DJ to play a specific song. Mm-hmm. And so he says he doesn't remember the name of the song. So he goes up to the DJ and he says, Hey DJ, can you play this song? The lyrics to that song that I want you to play are I said a hair, ha, a hair, a heaven to the hair. That's the chorus, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That song he's trying to talk about mm-hmm. is the Sugar Hill Gun. I said a hit, ha, a hit, a hip it is, a hip it is. Are you serious? Yeah. I said a hit, ha, a hip it, a hip it, a hip it, a hip it, a hip that's so, not where I thought that, that story what, was going. That's it, dude. That's wow, it. that's plagiarism in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. So literally, he is saying to the DJ in the song, right? The lyrics to the song is, I want you to play this song, but I don't know what the song is called. The chorus of that song is, and it, the chorus, it's actually quite genius. Yeah. He says to the DJ, the chorus of the song mm. is, and it's the chorus of the catch up song. I, I, have, wow. I have that's so meta I have more respect for that song <laughs> yeah. right crazy yeah yeah that is mm. that is self-referential in a Kojima-esque way yeah <laughs> that is wow. serious is it? No, I thought I was like wow this song's so much deeper now <laughs> yeah yeah I mean that's 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 a take either someone was on mushrooms and when this whole thing happened and they explained to someone that uh, this, this is what this guy did he was trying to explain the song and then it became a song that's mm. Nuts. <laughs> That's <Right>. nuts. <laughs> That's so the catch up song, people. Yeah. Go check it out. And I promise you, the next time you listen to it, you'll go, you'll, you'll listen to it in a very different way. I said, hip, hop, the hip, the hip, the hip, the hip, the hip, you don't stop the rock and do the bang, man. Boogie, say up, jump the boogie, do the rhythm of the boogie to beat. Yeah. So there you go. That's my fun fact for. For the, uh, how how did rock? you find this out? The internet, baby. Yeah, but what? That's where I found all my porn as well. <laughs> We've seen his internet history. Yeah, the porn is graphic, but not gay. A little gay. Large groups of people. <laughs> there's, 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 there's a lot of rabbit, rabbit holes I've gone down, but that's specific. <laughs> Dude, I'm a specific guy. But no, that's the conversation we had the other day when we found out that. Um, that porn star. Oh, yeah, yeah, action, yeah. Right? But do you yeah. remember what I said to you afterwards? I was like, what my favorite type of porn is at the moment? Arabic porn. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Chubby, fat, Arabic or Egyptian chicks getting down, but like real amateur style. <laughs> right. And I don't like it because they're chubby, fat Egyptian chicks. I like it because it's the taboo. Ooh. Brother, ooh. You know? That. <laughs> Cause, cause, cause they're, you know, their religion, they're, they're destroying their yeah. religion, like, you know? Well, by having sex. No, no by, by being everything. fucking, by being skept, isn't it? Porn, porn. Right, 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 yeah. That act of everything. Just do, yeah, doing something yeah, yeah. and I get off from the program. thought of, like, someone being like, Abdul, get the stones, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like that, for me, I'm like, oh, you're desecrating your religion. That gets me off, you know? You really are one of the most disgusting humans I've ever met. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, that's why I'm a piece of shit, right? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why, I, that's why the mask is. I was about to say, thank heavens for the mask. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not just delinquent, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm vile. You suck.
Son of a... Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put, put a random uh, clip of Tarantino in there saying, I'm shutting you down. And I'm shutting you down. But you... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, what, what film is that from? No, it's from the Channel 4. Yeah, the Channel 4. Uh, guru, uh, was interview, was it Martin Bashir? Yeah, yeah, no, Christian Guru Murphy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, and he was, talk he was talking about Django Unchained. Yeah. And um, the the swearing and the the whole the violence and the use of the N word. Yeah, and all of that. I, I thought that was I, the thing I love about Tarantino is that he doesn't give a shit. He just, just don't, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care what you think. Now, and, you know what my favorite one of that is? I thought it was real, but it's from a TV show. Right, it's Delroy Lindau He's playing a, a character in a show. I still don't know what the show is. I think it's a lawyer show, and he's like. They were talking about rappers using the N word, mm -hmm. and it's like him and three other white people on this panel. And then they're just talking about it, and he goes, So just say it then. We've talked about this on the show before. You have African American rappers saying N word this and N word that, but a Caucasian can't. So say it. And the guy's like, Wait, what? And he's like, Say it. Say the word you want to say. And the guy's like, well, I can't say it. And he's like, Sure, you can. This is America. <laughs> Say it. This is hypocritical. You know we can't. Sure you can. This is America. He said, I'll say it with you. <laughs> say it, it right? Sounds so familiar. And he's man. like, mmm. And the guy's tell like, me, tell that, me that's who that Delroy Lindau is? Black dude, bald head. He was the dad on, in, uh, he was the dad in Romeo Must Die. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, off yeah. the top of my head, the first thing I remember Delroy Lindau. Right, but when he just drops that and he's like, Yeah, so say it. But the way he does it, when he goes, So say it then, and he opens his eyes wide, so he's like, So say it then. <laughs> and I'll just like, Easy, don't, don't, don't do these guys like that. <laughs> yeah, so it's, do you ever see the South Park episode where it was the Wheel of Fortune? Uh, and, um, and, um, no, no, it's, not, it's the price is the right. Pri it, 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 what did you have to split like, the words like round? The oh, the thing, yes, yes, like, yeah. Like, people who annoy you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Category is people who annoy you. Audience, keep quiet, please. Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, uh, I can't say it. And it's like, just say it. And it's like, I can't say it. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if I can say it, guys. And, like, and, and like, all the black people in the yeah. audience are just kind of like sticking their head. The cameraman. Oh. Like, uh, well, uh, 10 seconds, Mr. Marsh. Well, I know it, but I don't think I should say it. Five seconds, Mr. Marsh. All right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. <laughs> and then, and then, and then he's just like, "Okay, I'm gonna say it." And then he says, "You well, can say, say it. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying it." Wiggers. Wiggers. Okay, listen. We the amount of shit that we've said on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, that's true. In 13 episodes. He says, "Niggers." Uh, huh? Yeah. And, that's what he says. He's like, yeah. "Niggers." <laughs> and this is what uh, everyone's. Uh, <laughs> and that's God, what the camera is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's such a, a send up of mm. of um whatever we were just talking about. Yeah. But <laughs> no, do you know what? But right afterwards, it's like they, everyone just goes quiet, and it's just the, the, it's, the not, a. it's not I, it's an A, and it's naggers. naggers. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, naggers, of course, naggers, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what really gets me is have you ever seen that? I think it's a um. It's like an elementary school quiz or something, and this kid, and they're like, Oh, they're asking this kid, and it was like, Um, if you say someone is yellow, you're referring to <laughs> right, and he's like, Chinese, <laughs> and it was like, No, cowards. <laughs> when we refer to someone as yellow, we consider them to be what Chinese, not Chinese, over to Jerry and Murray. No, yes, Jerry. Um, cowardly. Cowardly is correct. Thirty rounds. And the kid's face, <laughs> he just looked so like I've, I've. He's, it's not like oh I'm man, goofed. I got the question I'm wrong. I'm done goofed. It's not even like oh I got the question wrong. It's like oh, I've got so much 
trouble. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> that, that, any time that ever comes up, reminds, do you do you remember the cable guy? Yes. Uh, do you know the bit in court where the guy? I think it was. Uh, all I remember is um, the. I, I I started laughing out loud. I was the only one that found it funny at the time, but mm. is it cool? Is it? I think he's Asian, <laughs> and it's it's clearly what this person clearly wasn't Asian. He's just put a filler in, and yeah. it's it's just the way it, he he was he felt. You find the clip, put yeah. it put it in. Oh my god! Oh my god! My good brother's been shot. I think it was an Asian gang or something. I saw someone. He looked. And you, it's it's yeah, it's hilarious to me. Not everyone, not everyone finds these little things funny, but it's hilarious to me. It's the Jim Carrey has this way of saying and doing things that it could just be the speech pattern. It could be just, but it's the way he said. I think they were Asian. It's so hilarious. I, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's one of those yeah. you have to be there. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. But it yeah. hits. It fucking hits. All right. Oh. Neil's, Neil's chomping at the bit. To no. uh, before we get that, before we get that, I was going to say, right? So when you're talking about the, the meaning of songs, do you know what the meaning of the song Macarena is? Do you know what the, the song is about? Do you know what? It's really weird. I speak Spanish and I don't even know the words to that song. <laughs> right. I, 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 I Something about give your, give, no, your, thought, give your body to the Macarena. I don't know. Right. No. So, right. The Macarena is the name of the woman. It, it, the, 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 the song is about a woman. The woman's mm. name is Macarena. The song is... Macarena's boyfriend goes off he like goes away to fight in a war and when he goes off to fight in war she calls his two brethren and does them either back to back or, or two at the same time <laughs> she's basically getting spit roasted Eiffel Tower by <laughs> her <Eiffel> man's <laughs> two friends and that's what the song is about Wow. And I'm like, everybody till this day, you think that song came out in the 90s and still to this day, when that song comes on, people are like, da, 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 doing the dance and everything. And I'm like, whore. <laughs> <laughs> fucking whore. <laughs> you fucking whore. A, she was a whore. B, she was a whore. Do um, you know what's really funny? Mm -hmm. Fucking a lot of famous spanish songs are like that so there's a mm. famous singer his name's uh ruben blades but ruben Scott... blades it's pronounced Blades. oh Blades. yeah trouble like <laughs> you uncultured swine <laughs> look blades the only time i knew this guy is from once upon a time in mexico predator when... 2 baby he's in predator 2. oh yeah he is in predator 2 he's, but uh, he's um He's the uh, police officer, Danny. Danny, Danny. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So just to let you know, he's also a very, very successful, famous salsa singer. Right. Like, like think of like John Williams. Right. That's right, right. how famous this guy is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, um, he's a very, very accomplished and famous salsa singer across the world, right? An actor. Right. I've seen him in a lot of things. Yeah, he does acting, but yeah. the, the, the singing is what he's known for, right? Mm, okay. And he has one of his most famous songs is a song called Pedro, Pedro Navaja, which is Pete, um, Peter the Knife, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the, whole, the, the whole song is about this guy who called Peter the Knife, who's like a pimp or whatever, and he kills a prostitute and stabs her in the street mm -hmm. for money. <laughs> That's what the song is called. It's about, it's like him walking down the street. Mm -hmm. and, like then, a day in the and then like he sees in like late at night in New York and then he sees her across the street and he knows she's got money. And then he goes to, uh, he comes over to shoot her. Uh, he comes over to stab her and take her money, and then she shoots him, and they both fall down to the ground. Their both bodies are both left on the street, and that's the, it's it's uh, it's one of the most famous salsa songs made. Wow, that's a salsa. People dance. People yep. shake their asses to that. Yep. <laughs> Grooving. Wow. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like a great story too. It's a it's a really good song. <laughs> I mean, that's it's it's like um, uh, those uh, Nashville kind of songs where every every song's like this story. 
and he went down the street and he's went I, I can't do the voice but you get it's yeah, it's yeah. most the, southern songs are about women who kill their husbands like Dolly <laughs> half of Dolly Parton's music is just about a poor downtrodden woman yeah Jolene you know <laughs> Jolene, by the way I see the picture you put up here yeah. of uh, Rachel Dolezal oh yeah Dude, 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 let me say something right now. Yeah, go ahead. Rachel Dolezal would get it, bro. I've seen her leaked OnlyFans picture, Well, bro. it's interesting that you I would say smash, that. Because, bro. I would smash, bruv. I would smash. that's exactly what, why her picture was up there. So, Joe, do you know who this woman is? Yeah, she trans, right? No, no, no. she's not trans. <laughs> well, <laughs> te- technically, technically. Yeah, actually, <laughs> technically. He has a point. So, she, her name is Rachel... Dolezal. Dolezal. She is a white woman who identifies as a black woman yes i do know yeah. this person so former head hold on the... a minute you're 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 burying the lead here yeah, no i'm not getting there okay if she managed to get the job the head of the naacp she managed to convince people she was a black woman yes <laughs> i find that hilarious <laughs> and oh well my God. like you know, Talk about culture vulture, bro. Uh huh. Now I bring those images up because I recently found out that after she was lost her job as head of the NAACP and and uh, you know went into like after her her viral downfall and then she disappeared. She was broke. I remember her talking yeah, about it. She she's like broke. begging for money. She was she broke. She became a teacher, right? <laughs> Right, so she became a teacher. She changed her name to what was the fuck is her name now? She changed her name to uh, Inkechi Amari Diallo. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she, she did. She go to like an African uh, name generator right, or something. Well, right, I have to go off to the woods of Africa and find me some crazy naked zebra bitch. That knows nothing about money. She got to be butt naked on a zebra with a big bone in her nose and a big plate lip and a big fucked up afro. I don't know. But she changed her name <laughs> That's to That's childish Gambino got his name, innit? Yeah. You know that, right? No, I didn't know. There's a Wu-Tang, a Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang rap name generator. He typed in Donald Glover. Mm-hmm. And it came out with Childish Gambino, and that's the name he picked. No way, yeah, that's man. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never so do that. Um, she did that got her name became a teacher uh. and then she was fired from her teaching job you're fired thank you okay she was fired from her teaching job if you look at the screen jesus yeah because she had an only fans for people who i'm not going to show the picture of mm. she's like spread eagle bro She's, she, you know what, yeah, you, you would see her in like the mature section of the porn sites that you may frequent. Mm-hmm. And she's yeah. got a good body. She does. She'll get it, man. She I does. would fucking she ruin does. her. To be honest right. with you, she's, I'll, I'll be honest with you, my dick's probably not big enough for her. She likes, right. some, she likes some big black and <laughs> What about you, Stark? Would you like something hot and black inside you? Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> she, look, she's got Joe's a really nice. Face. I tell you what, we can't talk, we can't show you the picture, yeah. but she has a very nice bleached bum hole. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Tits, her tits are good. She has a nice body. I understand, like, why guys would bang her. Hey, man, if, Cre- if Queen Rogue can do it, she can do it. Yeah, but as I was saying, so I like my women easy. with dirty bum holes, but that's just me. They, they got me dark, you know. What's wrong with you? Yeah. So that <laughs> again, very is, specific. Um, <laughs> that was what I wanted to bring up was to that's insane. See those images and see who that person is, but it also did lead me into a thing which was, you know, like there's a, a morality clauses in a lot of jobs. Yeah. Right. Are you shitting me? John Spartan, you are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. And the morality clause is that one of them is that you can't do like porn or own trans or anything like that. Mm. And do you think, well, that, my question to you guys is do you guys think that is right or wrong? 
that there's morality. Because, for instance, morality clause, so you can't be... I know this is the case in America. I don't know if it's the case here. But you cannot be a teacher mm-hmm. and this is you cannot work okay, in the, the medical field yeah, she, if it, you've it, done anything like that. Yeah, it's, she... So the person I dated, um, there's bit, she couldn't even be in a picture really, um, because it would affect her job in a particular. Oh, you go to this place, so therefore, yeah, A, B, and C, and um, because of the background checks that they have mm-hmm. every, I don't know how many months, but they have, they continuously have to. Anyway, my yeah. point being is that yeah, I think I think it is a thing over here. If I'm wrong, the yeah. comments will well, shout yeah, out. No, yeah. But what are your thoughts on it? Do you believe it's a good that, thing or a bad so thing? So he's saying he's basically asking: Do you think they should? Do you think they have the right to, to or, or that it's ethically correct for them to place morality clauses in jobs to say you cannot partake in extracurricular sexual activities um, mm. that may put well, it's, it's, other it's, people into disrepute? Yeah. When you say they, who who's the who's as the government body? As a okay, whatever so. municipality is is in charge of. If it if it's that. I mean, I guess it's a social thing at the end of the day. It, if it affects, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's quite the a great area. Is, let's say she's a teacher. Okay, so she's a teacher. So we'll go off real world scenario. Yes. She's a teacher mm-hmm. or was a teacher or whatever. So not only is she carrying the stigma of obviously being Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and the whole bullshit that went Which by. Which is probably changed her name. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, then coupled with the fact that like students can now because it's the internet right dude yeah. I've seen all her naked pictures I, you just showed us some Six. OnlyFans pictures yeah and, and that was like you didn't pay for them no that was literally I, I heard the story and then I was just like bullshit and looked it up and I just typed it, yeah. in her name I typed in her name and typed in OF and those came up yeah. right dude right. I, found, I found them ages ago I think <laughs> I, I, I may have even fucking bust a few nuts to it bro <laughs> Um, like, like to the videos because she's alright bro she's she's like I, you know I don't mind like older chicks that look like her you know I she fucking get it man and perhaps play a little game called just a tip just for a second just to see how it feels but is it is it right is it wrong oh, dude it's a hard one because if you're a teacher yeah like you know obviously then you're gonna your your entire interaction is gonna be tainted with that and what you're asking people is to forget basic like you know thought patterns mm. <laughs> like people are gonna think about it yeah you know if you're <laughs> If you were a murderer, but then you were acquitted of murder, people are always gonna remember you as someone who was associated with a yeah. murder, right? Yeah. So you know, fucking yeah, it, it's a hard one. I can't. I, I'm like in the middle. I'm on the fence because I agree, mm. but then I also don't agree. Okay. I think I think it's I think it's a case by case basis depending mm. on the job that you do, dude. If you work in like fucking retail <clears throat> at you know Top Asda, mm. yeah, and then on the side you do a bit of porn, that fuck that. Who cares, mm. right? Mm. But yeah, I mean, if you're front facing with children and you're educating people, maybe it's a different story, you know? Like, at that point, as a parent, I think I would have to step in and be like, yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want yeah, to come to my house? Specific. You know? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yes, it's quite true. If you're, if you're going, if you plan to be a teacher, then it's not, it's, it's probably something you shouldn't go into. But uh, beyond, beyond that or, I mean, the people in government do nefarious shit behind closed doors. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. So... But it's behind closed doors. Mm. Sure. Speaking but, of... Yeah. Behind yes. closed doors. Who's that young kid who's, who fucking took a pic a selfie with his asshole in Congress? You saw that? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you just say? Huh? Dude, <laughs> Google it on your phone, bring it up. I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> It's only, because, it's only because I don't have the dexterity to do this on my, on my iPad oh, sitting right here. Okay. No, 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 I want him to do it because you can bring it up on the screen. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, what am I looking for? Type in, ah, uh, dude, type in like, man, man takes naked picture in Congress and then you'll find it. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Crazy shit, dude. This like young dude took like a, a grinder photo. And no, 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 I think you know he filmed a porno. I think he fucked. He fucked inside the thing. Hold on, you'll find it and you, you'll we'll go. There you go. Senate, Senate staffer is caught filming amateur gay pornography in hearing room <laughs> as graphic video emerges. Yeah, dude. Oh and shit. He's part, he's part of Biden's staff. And Damn. you know what happened to him? Fucking nothing. I'm bro. not, su- I'm Zero. not surprised. Zero. Nothing happened to him. Nobody did shit. 
The staffer filmed himself having sex with an unknown male, according to the Daily Caller. Video obtained by the outlet shows the pair in a conference room in the Hart Senate office building. The staffer is seen in a separate picture, naked on all fours, where senators often sit and ask questions during hearing. And he's spreading hearing. his bum hole, bro. The bum hole. He's like, he's this dude, he's just spreading his bum hole. And you can just see like his bull sack just hanging down. I can see his guts and everything. <laughs> Almost lost my lunch. And he's like, uh, to be honest with you, if I was gay, you know, I would, didn't it? Why are you gay? He seems very smooth and twinky. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that happened. And nothing happened. This is just fucking degeneracy. Well, I don't know. It's really messed up. Super gay. I remember seeing one fucking video as I, as I was scrolling through uh, X, which is what it's now known, the prior yeah. Twitter, which is uh, the most scarring fucking piece of software you can go on. Uh, <laughs> dude, if you ever want to lose faith in humanity, man, just go on to Twitter. Dude. Nah. Like, like it's so much, like ever since Elon Musk took over, it's just like the wild west days of the internet. Just now reside on Twitter. You will see some fucked up shit on there, dude. And I saw this one of like, this like, is you, someone's filming something in like a New York street and then like mm. you have this like bollard roadworks and this just girl's just get, she's getting tag teamed by two guys at oh. night time. She's just getting yeah, fucked no, on like I've some roadworks, yeah? I've seen that. And then like other dudes are like, yeah, and they're just filming it. Like, I thought the two dudes were homeless or something. I, I, they kind of look so, homeless, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no, it's just, no, Joe, you're laughing, right? But I was like, I, this video just came up, and you know, like group chats are the most dangerous places to be. Yeah. And yeah. it came up in a group chat and I was like, what the, what is that? And I was just like, oh, Dude, maybe I it's that too to you. <laughs> it may have been me that sent it to you. I may have pulled it off, off Twitter, saved it, and shared it to a bunch of people. I might well, have said that to you. This was a while ago. Yeah, yeah, dude. It yeah, was a while it might ago. Have been yeah. you. <laughs> but it was just you see this this woman just getting just one in the front, one in the back, just blowing her back out. Damn. In the middle of the street. Yeah. This is New York in lights, nighttime, right? Lights, <laughs> nighttime, right? Was and this... you know New York. New York ain't like London, right? Yeah. When yeah. it's nighttime in New York, right? Yeah. There's lights everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got this girl locked up like a Chinese finger trap, bro. Just right, yeah. right there. Just one in the back, and one in the front, and one in the back. Just so, right so airtight. Air no, tight. no, no airtight no, no, no. would be like in a one in the mouth. Need a third guy. One in the mouth. Wall. Okay. Spit roasted. <laughs> right, right. Okay. What you in know, the street? Just speaking, speaking of holes, by the way, I've been seeing. Uh, just not, just a quick tangent. I've been seeing all these girls on like my Instagram because it's just filled with degenerate behavior. Mm -hmm. um, my Instagram, these girls are like, oh yeah, when he asks to use the fourth hole, and I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, fourth hole, fourth. And then I'm like, oh, gee. and then I had to comment on one. Urethra. Of them, right. <laughs> so I had to comment on one. I was just like, girls who let you fuck him in the piss hole. What, Jesus, what, don't. What? What? what why? How? I, no, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to. Know. Oh no, I'm there's a okay. there's a woman. I can't remember her name, but if you just type in, I'm not. Type gonna in p hole fucking. I'm sure you'll find it. And she, what's that? What's that? I can't remember. I don't know what the medical instrument is, but when a woman goes, to, does any woman want to comment on this? If you're not completely thrown to the gynecologist. Question. When they go to the gynecologist, there's a a tool that uses. It looks like kind of like a tongue, like half a tube, like a tube, and it opens and it spreads. up. Spreads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like a like a spreader, whatever the fucking thing is called. And she puts that in her piss hole. No, no, yeah, no, dude, no! Yeah. I don't want to hear and that. And then guys, and then guys, and she's she's like she's like she's like Rachel Dolezal. She's this white chick, yeah. And then like there's all these like people around it. It's a like full production, right? It's like mm. back in like the seventies, like eighties, sorry, or the nineties. So it's like a full on production, yeah. All these people around her, and they're like taking pictures. You can hear the camera in the background, like like the shot of speed. And then she's just lying there, and then she like puts this thing in, lubes it up, and then this one dude just comes in, this black dude with a huge cock, and he just feeds it right into oh, her Oh my god, and he that's fucks horrible. Her, and she's like, oh yeah, and he fucking bolts inside her and everything. And then, and then like, even sometimes it's weird, right? Because obviously, because it's in her piss hole, so they have to, for, for them to get the camera angle, this is real delinquent shit right here. For them to get that camera angle, another guy has to come in underneath the black dude's balls, right? No, 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 no! And like, hold hold the bottom of her vaginal canal down. Wait, 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 wait. Hey. To pull it to prove that it's actually in her piss hole. It's amazing. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you two are so disgusting. What you just said 
is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Look at me! You can't see Joe, but yes, you can see Neil. Neil's very disappointed. Disgusting. Very disappointed. Yeah. I apologize. Look, man, there's, 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 there's it's, that's, that's almost like, um, what's that film called when the ship goes to hell? Event and, Horizon. Event Horizon. Yeah, that's kind yeah, of what that is, that's that like is to me. Event Horizon ship. <laughs> you guys want to see the video? Man. You guys want to see him? Huh? No. You do. From Event Horizon. No, 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 no. <laughs> the no, one I'm talking about. No. Yeah, no, you do. No, no I'm Yeah, you do. No. I know. You know what's going to happen. You're, you know what? The, the problem is, right? Curiosity. <laughs> is, 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 curiosity, right? Is, I, I ain't going to lie. The, 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 I have a curious streak. And it's hearing you like, oh, do you want to watch the video? And I'm like, no. And then that little voice is like, wait, wait, watch it, wait, just, just, just look, just once, and then you don't have to look at it again. And it's the same thing that led me down the fucking, that led me into watching that fucking two girls one cup video, <laughs> right? Where I was like, I'm not gonna watch that. It's nasty. And then someone was like, but it's loaded. You just gotta push play. And then I was like, yeah, it can't hurt. Click, and then it hurt. And I was like, oh. All right. And yeah, even okay. though it was. Hold, hold oh, on a minute, though. Right, okay. So, hold mm -hmm. on now. So, that's disgusting. But I asked you a question the other day, and you were all in. What was it all in for? I sent you a picture of a chick who was half horse. Oh. And she looks good. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I'll post that picture up. I'll put it on there for yeah. everyone to see. But I sent you a message, and I said, okay, hear me out. <laughs> right? Yeah, and then yeah, you, were like, you were like, yeah, I would. Yeah, I responded. I think I should so send you a So fucking a chick in the piss a... hole, you're like, nah, but fucking a horse chick. Hey, look, man, even Captain Kirk would, has his limits. No, he fucked the green bit. Yeah, I know, but... You gotta be a horny motherfucker to fuck a green Well, actually, bit. you know what? That, that, that leads me into something, right? I'm gonna ask you a, a series. I'm gonna list a series of in, individuals and then just yay or nay. All right, okay. go. All right. What's the, what's the yay for? Yeah, you would. Oh, okay. You right. Okay. So, uh, the Navi. Yes. Blue chick. Yeah. yeah One hundred percent. Right. Okay. I call her mummy too. <laughs> you know, because she's just like that, like the big chick from a Resident Evil Eight. So we finally meet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she was gonna be next. Oh, yeah, she was gonna be next. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Oh, right? village. Okay. I mean, every, yeah. that's like when I first saw her. I thought, oh, I know where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, choke me, bro. Choke, yeah, yeah. choke, me, choke me till my eyes are red. <laughs> you know? What was, was that? D, 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 um, I can't remember her. D con I can't remember what her name no, was. Dimitrisk. 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 Yeah, yeah, Lady Dimitrisk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah she, Dimitreska. Good. That's it. Lady Dimitreska. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. you get it, bro. Very good. Uh, I would, I would, I'd do the, uh, I'd do the Donald Duck in her tits, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, just right. I think, I think. I wouldn't her, even motorboat it, bro. I'll get right up in there. I mean, she was big. She's a big woman. I think one of her boobs is as big as like. Yeah, a whole... big as my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, dude, if she was like. I want to, to shit in your face. I'm like, yeah, that's <laughs> that would be a massive yeah. shit. Like, yeah. Die. <laughs> yeah, but you I would. would die. Yeah, I would die, but I would come and go at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. That's that's a. What happened to What happened to L? He came and went at the, the same, same time. time. Oof. That's it. okay. So she was second. Okay, so big bitch. Yeah, go. On. Right. You're just naming big bitches. No, it's mermaids. Would you bang right. a mermaid? I hear you, all right. Would you bang the mermaid, right, from Invincible? Invincible? Which one, which Where she's the, the other way around. So it's it's fish top, uh -huh. woman bottom. What fish? The Ooh. queen. <laughs> yeah, but what fish? 
I don't remember, so you need to tell me what kind of Yeah, it's in the, blue, the second like season, right? Yeah, but hold on, is she a, yeah, like a trout? Is she a goldfish? Is she a... Yeah, where is she? Um, she is... Hold on. Yeah, it was a, it was a third or third episode of the second season, I think. Mm. So, so hold on a minute. So if she's so she's a mermaid, but she's 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 got pussy. Yeah, she's got the, it's the reverse mermaid kind okay. of thing. What like not when I say reverse mermaid? What's the bottom look like? The a bottom human is legs. Look, 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 right there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, does she have boobs? You you can see. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. smashing. You disgust me. Go on. Yeah, I'll do it. Kind of like the China of the underwater. Yeah. Do I have to? Okay, here's a big question though. Do I have to fuck her underwater? No, because that's a big. That's a deal breaker. No, 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 I can't. No, 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 I can't no, fuck her no, underwater. No, you can be on dry land. That's that's outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you can be on dry land. Huh? I can fuck her on dry land. Just dry yeah, land. fucking. Oh, uh, fuck it. You fucking. Yeah. I don't know. It's coin toss. Uh, I'm. I'm <laughs> that's a, that's a hard that's, 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 You're gonna fuck I, a fish? I, I, yeah, that's a, that's a no What about Ariel? You banging Ariel? Yeah. Who wouldn't? Hold on. But Ariel's got fish pussy. No, but when she comes on land. No, 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 no. no. I'm Listen, talking. Man. I'm talking Ariel half fish. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, what? still, How, still with, would. With the, with the tail? Yeah. No. Because, no. because at that point, are you fucking a fish? Mm. Just put it out. All there. right. Well, here's here's another one for you. Are you fucking a fish? Here's another one for you, Ursula. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember Ursula. Yeah, Ursula I always from thought Ursula, Dude, dude, I always thought Ursula was kind of hot. The, the octopus lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad chick. The baddie from fucking... She is a baddie. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember the thick, now. The thick, fat chick, no. fat octopus lady. No. <laughs> See, now, as much as I say no to the... To, to, to Invincible's fish lady... It's not as hard a no on Ursula. It's a, it's a possibility. She's thick, bro. She's thick. Love that shit. She reminds me of someone I, I used to date, so no. We're like borderline saying, hey, I'd fuck an animal. Ursula would get it. I'd actually take Ursula before I took Ariel. Hey man. I'd if... probably take Flounder before I took Ariel. Who's Flounder? <laughs> the fucking yellow fish. <laughs> oh Jesus. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know, or the Jamaican guy, you know, crab? <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian. Sebastian, yeah. I don't want crabs, no, I'm cool. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd smash, uh, I'd smash um, uh, Ursula. Yeah, she'd get it, man. Yeah. Imagine where them tentacles are going, bro. Nah, it reminds me of the boys too much. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm about that, man. You guys just ain't deviant enough yet. That's why. No, I just have a line. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're like, the line is a duck to you, Al. you. You're so far past the line that you can't even see the line. The line is a dot to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I reckon you have a line. I reckon you just comfortably walk over it. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just walk straight over it. It's a line in the sand. You're like, what line? What are you talking about? <laughs> You walk like you walk like my, like my guy in freaking uh, in Dune with the uh, swelling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. So, so we're talking about animals. Here's one that I brought. Up, I, I kind of brought up with uh, with Joe over the phone, right? Okay. And I was curious. I was like, right. Um, you win. You can win. A, you'll win like a billion pounds, right? Okay. One billion pounds mm. if you can beat one of these three animals. Alright. A bear. A, a grizzly bear. A lion, like a full-on fucking male lion, mm -hmm. or a silverback gorilla, with no weapons in a fight. <laughs> this, this, who are you gonna pick? No, you gotta pick one. I have to pick one. You gotta pick one. Yeah, you gotta pick one. Who's your chances with? Who, who, who Hold on. Like... So I got a bear, a lion, and a, and a silverback gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think you could take in a fight? If you beat them, you get a billion pounds. Okay. Well, firstly, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to all three of them. Who would you last the longest? Who would last the longest? Yeah, that's me. Who would last the longest? Wow. Now think about it. Lion, all of them are, are gonna outrun you. Yeah. But the only one, Lion can't climb a tree as well as the rest of them. But it can climb a tree. Yeah, but not it, as be, well, it but won't it be as good as a, a huge. A, you know what? We, you, when I was younger, somebody said, "You know, bears climb trees." I looked at bears and I went, "Get the fuck out of here!" Yeah, they do. And then, man. then I, I followed that channel, um, mm. Nature Is Metal, on fucking Instagram, mm. and I saw bears climb trees, and I was like, "Oh shit!" 
They climb them fast. Did bro. you did, did you I know this is not fact, but did you see cocaine beer? Yeah. Uh, did you see the part where the oh, beer? That shit happened. That's I know it happened, but not but not like not, not in like the that. in that <laughs> yeah, yeah, particular yeah. way. Just the, the fact oh but a beer's can't climb trees, they climb up a tree and you, you just see I can't remember what the next shot was, but the next shot was him just dead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought, I thought that, that's that's such a brilliant. It's like that contrast. dumb scene in Friday the uh, Jason X, right? <laughs> when he's like, "It's okay, guys. He just wanted his machete back." <laughs> guys, it's okay. He just wanted his machete back. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, what was he gonna do with that machete, man? Was he just gonna take it dip, or yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. What's the next move here? All you feel is a knife in your ass. So, uh, yeah. So, who do uh, my if money? I'd be honest with you. Yeah, you pick the line. Yeah, dude. You? I don't know, man. No, <laughs> the thing is, here's the thing, right? A I'm, gorilla, I'm listening. I'm a waiting. gorilla is going to. Punch. Yeah, he'll rip you apart. Right? A gorilla will a gorilla will kill you in the way that a man will kill you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're gonna feel everything. <laughs> there's no there's no possibility that I'll maybe maybe like you know like that, no, you're gonna get boxed up and die painfully. Yeah. With a bear, as as L said before. You asshole first, <laughs> right? Somebody's is going to have to give us some booty, and it uh, just ain't simple. <laughs> the possible, possible, <laughs> yeah. pos the possible, like, ah, uh, but I'm going out, right? Maybe the lion bites my throat and rips my head off. I'm done, right? But I'm like, you listen, you in, 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 in. No, I don't think I could beat any of them, but I would try. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to try, right? But, you know, it's the thing of, I look at a lion and I just think, look, like, Hercules killed one of them things. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hercules killed the, wasn't the Namidian lion? Check out the big brain on bread. So, like, I might not win, but I'm going to try. Yeah. Uh, that's, and so, that's, who would you pick? Uh, probably bear. Yeah. Probably bear. I'm gonna yeah. have to go with bear, Kimosabi. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like I could take a bet. Not, I mean, not, not. Let me rephrase that. I feel like <laughs> I feel like my chances are higher with a bear versus okay. the other animals. You I could... feel I feel like a lion's too agile and and a gorilla's too strong. Brute strength. But mm. I reckon if I could if I could just if I could just maybe get the bears back mm. and hang on because bears don't do this right. Mm -hmm. I could get a fucking clinch in the near a rear naked choke. <laughs> maybe, maybe I would last longer than expected. I'm retarded. I'm gonna die because all he has to do is roll on his back. Right? Yeah, yeah it. it's over. Yeah. But if I could just clinch it, maybe I could do it. Yeah. Maybe. But apart from that, yeah, I'm ghost. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. You know what gets me though? People who get killed by dogs. I'm like this. You're a fucking yeah, pussy. No, 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 That's no, what no, you no, are. No, no, no. That guy who got yes. killed by the that XL bullies. That's created yeah. this whole law thing. I'm like, bro, you have zero survival instincts. Okay, I'm telling you now. If a dog, I had tried to attack my kid. I'm killing that dog, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuck that dog. I'm gonna be like Ang Lee's Hulk, bro. You know, yeah. like, he's yeah. fighting them Hulk, them dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, fuck yeah. those dogs up because, yeah. like, I'm just pretty sure that, like, yes, I'm gonna get bitten a few mm -hmm. times. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that motherfucker on his back because I have the power and the weight advantage, yeah. and I'm just gonna grab something really soft in its fucking throat, and I'm gonna <sighs> grab it as hard as I can and pull on it as hard as I can. Look, there was a woman. I can win that fight. Look, there's a woman who I can't remember what it was. I think it might have been her dog. Was this woman in Australia? Her dog was being attacked by a bigger dog, and she shoved her thumb in the dog's asshole, and the dog like let go of her dog. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, if that was me, my dick would have gotten hard. And I'm like, alright, go right. time, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, if that's all you had to do to get that dog off you, obviously the situation is different. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, oh, like, oh, an XL bully is attacking you. And I'm like, okay, so basically, a fairly strong sized child is attacking me i uh, like if you bite my right arm the left hook you gonna get in your eye socket 
is going to make you let go. And they're like, yeah, no, no, the dogs jaw, get bro, dogs get it. locked jaw. I said, when I pull this dog's <laughs> eye out of the socket, it's gonna let go. It's gonna let go. Yeah. yeah. And then when I, I was like, you better hope that I can't get one good hand on one of your legs because you're not running after that. And then, yeah. <laughs> and, then gonna, and then it's gonna be that uh, like like Eddie Murphy delivers. He goes, you know what I do, Eddie? I kick the motherfucker. <laughs> you know he's talking about the dog. Cause I hit yeah. this motherfucking dog. He's talking about his dog. Yeah, yeah. He said, he said some matter of factly, like, like then I kick the motherfucker, motherfucker and I giggle my motherfucking <laughs> ass off. <laughs> no, it is true. Like I, like I mean, the people who die from like exhale bully attacks are like elderly people or mm. like children. But I'm like, it can't be. To me, I'm like, if it's a child, I'm like, I don't get it because the parent is there, mm. and unless the parent is Neglecting. physically unable to, I'm like. Or neglecting, like, like they just like to kill a lonely yeah. dog and then fucked off. Because you know kids do dumb shit and try to put makeup on dogs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And dogs don't like that shit. Like, get the fuck away from me. Because I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking of it in my head and I'm like, if you're not an animal that's in a zoo, chances are you can't get hold of my kid and I'm not going to get hold of you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I think it's that notion of safety that mm. you think... I mean, at the end of the day, Joe Rogan says this all the time. These things were wolves once. <laughs> so and then, and then now they're in now they're in fucking Paris Hilton's handbag. Yeah, you know, you ask crazy though, right? So I used to have a dog when I was younger. I had a golden retriever called Millie, and uh, we used to take her to the park, right? And we used to take her park for a walk. She used to roll around in the grass. I used to ask my dad, like, "What's she doing?" He was like, "Oh, she's ro- rolling around in fox shit." because it masks her scent so that she can go kill foxes wow she's realized that she's like oh i want to go because she would run and park and chase after foxes and shit so that's what they do they find fox shit and they roll around in it so that it masks their scent so they can go kill fucking foxes that's insane yeah dogs are smart dogs like yeah sometimes you see dogs and they're too dumb to exist and you're like why and they're like, they look at you like a pug looks at you and he's like kill me because you know? yeah. <laughs> they're just not real animals you're like wow I was like what is this thing but then you see like I, I I was I was at work recently and I saw this guy and he had a um, uh, type this in and bring a picture of it up it's called a uh, it's a Spanish Mastiff but the, the name is oh uh, fuck I'm gonna completely, it's completely gone out of my brain. And I, I know it, because I know it by heart. Just type in Spanish Mastiff, um, dog. Right, type in Spanish Mastiff, mm. black. And it will come up. Presser, okay, Presser Canaria, that's what it's called. Type in, uh, just type in Presser Canaria, black. So take out Spanish Mastiff, mm. and then type in Presser Canaria, Presser, Presso, Presso, P R E S O. Okay. R E S O. There you go. Press a canario. Look at that fucking Jeez. dog. Look at that dog. The, 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 look. Look at that fucking thing. It's like a. Now that's not the dog. That's when I'm talking about. That's like Cerberus. Dog, that's not the dog I'm talking about. That's so. So this guy had one of those, right? Mm-hmm. Beautiful dog. Cutest fucking thing. Mm-hmm. So so nice and playful, right? But uh, but. He was like, oh, I just got to feed it, and he put a uh, 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 400 grams of minced meat, minced beef. Mm. Just opened up the pack and threw it in the bowl, in a metal bowl, mm. like a trough, and two the two raw eggs, and just threw them in there. And he go, and that dog was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. wow, dude. Nah, and it's like, it, was, it looked exactly like that. That ain't the dog I'm talking about. But it had no tail though. Yeah, because so, as, as Joe said, that thing looks like Cerberus. Yeah, right. Fucking, yeah. And That's we, what it was called. Yeah, we ain't even talking about like like freaking Hagrid's pet, right? <laughs> in fucking Harry Potter. This is that looks like it guards the gates of the underworld. Deadly Peter! I'm sorry, there's such little devils. Come on, you naughty boys. Yeah. yeah. Right. I want one though, right? Mm. When you, I don't have the discipline to have a dog like that. No, I'd be afraid of that dog. That dog will kill me in my yeah, sleep. Yeah. That's the problem though. You're not the alpha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In your no, house, you, you know ain't what? the alpha. No, because I, I would love to have a dog like that. And that's the kind of thing of, you know, like, when you get, you got to go to school because your kid's in trouble because they, they had a scrap with another kid and the other kid's parents are like, oh, you're, you're, 
you know, heinous child, your your animalistic child, you just bring that with them, and they'll be like, repeat everything you call my <laughs> everything you call my kid. Say it again. If you ever bully or hurt anybody again, I'll come back and butt fuck your father with your mom's headless corpse on this goddamn lawn. You know, and uh, you know, I get what name would you call? I call her Fluffy. <laughs> That's what I would call it. I'd call it a dog like that and I'd give it the most pussiest name in the world. I'd go Fluffy. I'll, I'll call that dog Richard Dean Anderson. <laughs> what, because his name's MacGyver? <laughs> I forgot he played MacGyver, yeah. 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 Nah. Who were you referencing? I was referencing him from the his, the most recent thing he did, which was um, Stargate. Stargate, but, okay. But I, I, forgot, I completely forgot he no, was... No, 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 no. Also, yeah, he's MacGyver. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about MacGyver. Yeah. I'm going to call him that dog. I'm calling him Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is coming for you. <laughs> Jesus, go speak to Jesus about it. <laughs> go to the light. So yeah, that was a, that, so yeah, if you ever done like that, you have to be the alpha. And like he was there's this guy that I know who has this dog, he was the alpha with the dog. Like he tells the dog off and shit. And the dog would be like, oh shit, okay, my master and he didn't bark, not a single time. Not a single time. And when he told him to stop, the dog stopped. I was like, yo, that's fucking control right there, bro. Shit. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the guy who's who's living with wolves, like real wolves. He was like he was part of their pact, and he almost died or something because he had a particular smell on him or something. I might be getting that wrong. No, no, but... no. That sounds about right, though. Yeah, yeah. and and, and um, yeah, that's what that's what it was. There was a um, a new alpha came and it killed the original alpha. And when he came back, um, he, he had to Except kind of bow. The alpha, yeah. He had to k- kind of bow down and almost got eaten. And that, that's insane. That's. Uh, Do you know what's crazy? How big wolves are compared to other dogs. You yeah. don't actually realize it. You're like, actually, wolves are fucking big, dude. They don't, they're like horses. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> the Speaking of horses, bro, type in giant Shire horse. I saw this. I saw this dog that looks. I saw this horse that looks like a, the dog version of horses, like that. Jesus like, if you Christ. know what I mean, it was this, this huge Shire horse, yeah. Like, type in, type in, like, my, yeah, go to, go to, look at those horses. Jesus Christ. The fucking things, dude. That will eat her whole. Yeah. You call that, hold on, they call that a giant Shire horse. Do yeah. they not know what the fuck the Shire is? No, <laughs> Maybe it's ironic. Shire horses are the that horses could jump over the shire. <laughs> shire, yeah. shire horses are the ones that got the fur around their, their feet. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. scroll down, scroll down. Yeah, look at the side. Some of these horses, yeah. Uh, type in like giant. Because there's one video I saw of this horse and he's eating food and it's just the fucking biggest thing I've ever seen. Type in giant muscle horse, right? Like giant, yeah, giant, like big giant muscle horse. Jesus, this thing is this black, fucking huge muscle horse. Dog. Oh, oh my god! There you go. See who comes up. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> fucking hell! With oh, the bro- yeah. It's like the Brock Lesnar of horses. Yeah. <laughs> the reigning, defending. <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go back, go back, go back. Mm-hmm. Go back. Yeah, go down. Yeah, Jesus. look at those. Look at look at that one. That black one there. Fucking hell. That's that's like the horse. In, um, the and bloody... look at that black and white photo there. Look. <laughs> I, don't, I think that one's actually AI. But go down. Go down to the grey one. There you go. Look at that thing. That. All I'm gonna say is, like, whatever is riding that. Into battle, battle over. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Terrifying. Sometimes you just don't know these things exist and you're like, oh shit, that thing's massive. Right? And remember what we said during the conspiracy episodes, yeah. right? When I was like, I said, was it? I, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was like the cube something law. Yeah, I think I posted the thing yeah, on you it. Did, yeah, yeah. yeah, the cube something law, right? That stops things growing out of proportion on land. Sometimes it doesn't apply. <laughs> well, no, I was just thinking. So you imagine that right there, they were like, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they, they're right. pretty docile creatures though. You know, mm. like horses, they don't go out their way to hurt people. They're not hunters, they're herbivores, mm. right? They're, yeah. they're pretty docile but creatures. You, just think, you imagine that horse, right? Because think horses are the main weapon, either they rear up or they kick you, right? With yeah. Horse kick legs, right? Now imagine that horse 
<laughs> that will kick you to no, another no, dimension. Now no, no, let's say let's say let's say we were training for battle, right? Yeah. And that horse, you've got pads, you're souped up. That ain't gonna help you. And that horse kicks you, right? Yeah. When they remove the pads, you're gonna have an indent in whatever part of you the horse kicked. Yeah. Right? I mean, we don't have an indent. The pads are now part of you. <laughs> yeah. That's it, they're gonna remove the pads and they're gonna just take out your sternum with the pads, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that is over. That's that's uh, that's Alright, so obviously yeah. that's that's the horses shit. So mm. I wanted to discuss a few other things. What's our time right. check yeah. by the way? Got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Alright. All right. So two two one uh, two things I wanna mention. Yes. One bit off subject, but we're gonna go to it. The crow remake <laughs> the remake pictures of uh, mm. Skarsgård Bill, yeah, Bill, Skarsgård. Bill Skarsgård yeah Ugh. why is Machine Gun Kelly uh, the crow because that's what it looks like you know what I'll, I'm gonna be honest right the first image I saw I was like I think my comment was he looks Put the perfect fi- you can find the picture right yeah, yeah yeah I can find the picture right it was like he looked perfect and absolutely wrong at the same time I understand why right he's got a look that if if I mean I don't like the art direction of this right? of no, the character because looking at it and I'm like looking at that image I was like uh, you don't look great but you you, you don't you look, look like the comic book crow yes right I was like okay I can I can for live those with who that. don't know the crow is based on a comic book yeah right so I looked but at Bra- that Brandon Lee just looks the part. Yeah, but I so think does as Mark well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I think as well with that, it was like with Brandon Lee. That was for the most part. That was a lot of people's introduction to the crow. Mm-hmm. So that image is burned into like into the mental Rolodex, and I think that every kind of version of the crow we saw after still kind of maintained that look. I mean, that style. Even Sting this uses is, that. Yeah, that uh, still the... right, but that looks very different. Or not very different, but it looks significantly different, right? Remember, Brandon Lee, like, barely had any tattoos. I don't think he had any tattoos really and truly. No, I don't think he did, You know, so seeing that. But that is essentially what The Crow would look like if you took the comic book and made the film today. So, that I'm I'm okay with. It's the short hair. I can't get past the short hair. But the image that really got me was... I don't know if I can fucking... There it is. I saw it. Was this one. And when I saw this one, I was like, I'm out. Yeah. yeah I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I'm not about that life. Yeah. yeah it, right? it, I don't care. I don't care. I'll like, give, like, the first Crow movie, the second, the Stairway to Heaven, the second, yeah. not the, the TV show, and the mm-hmm. second Crow movie, City of, City Angels. of Angels. Not bad films, man. Mm-hmm. The, first, the second one's not bad. A uh, bit too much of studio interference. Mm-hmm. The first one was good. Obviously, we love the first yeah. one. And then the TV series was banging. Mm-hmm. When he had two crows, because it was like a, the chick. There was a chick crow as well. Is that, is that only one season of that? Yeah, only one. Yeah. Season, Twenty-one episodes. I got. I got it on DVD. Um, you yeah, can't, man. You can't find it anywhere streaming. Oh, dude, it's on YouTube. Yeah, but if if, like, if you were if you wanted to find like uh, like a, a, a legal that yeah, yeah legal, legal. It's on, it's on there. no 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 well, I, I yeah, know what you mean. I get like what you mean. if you want like HD quality you're not gonna get HD quality yeah 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 it was because it was filmed uh, interlaced mm. oh no you could I mean if that's a whole other discussion but yeah carry on carry on carry on yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's gonna be the same as like so I, I bought Stargate for example yeah. That was filmed around the same time as that in Just, Canada too. Yeah, because right? it was. I, I'll tell you why. Because it was shot. It was shot on probably tape. And um, uh, if it Digital was shot, yeah. if it, if it if they can, if it was like Star Trek, they could remaster all of those episodes mm. and um, have it look like pristine. Which but, Star Trek? Oh, even the sixties one that was shot on film, oh. and, oh, and, yes, and the yes, of course. and the um, next generation was all yeah, shot. On everything film. up until next generation was shot like that, and then afterwards, Voyager, Deep Space Nine, it was shot digitally. Shot, it was all shot digitally, and that's the same way with um, with with the the, the crow. Mm. Yeah, For sure, I've seen because the copy that's online is the best copy available. Right, right. Because I've compared it to the DVD, it's the same. So right. I'll, I'll, I'll just the last thing I say about it. if they if they had the original the original um, 
I'm guessing it was that that they film on, or some kind of digital tape. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, if they had the, if they could go back to the originals, they could remaster it now, today. They could do that now. Yeah, but the money's I not there, man. Nobody cares uh, enough about it. So. I mean, so, see, we're, yeah. we're, this is how you know we're like a bit of tech geeky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like when I found out about interpolation and inter interlacing, I, yeah. my mind was blown. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then I just went down a rabbit hole, dude. NTSC and Pal and yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, and anyway. even the Japanese standard as well. The but yeah. Pro. The, yeah, that's why people love them old um, Trinitron Sony TVs. Yeah, the, the yeah, best yeah. Quality. yeah, yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, we're, we're there, man. We're yeah. there. We're fucking losers. Loser, you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Delinquent losers. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I mean, I'm I, not. I, yeah, I agree with you. I'm not down. Yeah. Um, he, I wanted to say, and this literally segues into the, my last thing before mm. you want to go, and I think we'll close off. Unless there's anything else you want to mention. Mm -mm. I came across, because right. he looks a bit homeless. He and looks the like reason, vanilla ice. He looks like vanilla ice? Yeah, yeah. I did, he just looks like a homeless... Like, it doesn't look like... He's got that crow. machine gun Kelly look. He just looks yeah. like a homeless chic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like a, a very feminised version of a man that isn't gothic. Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, looking at him right I, I'm seeing yeah. like I'm seeing like modern day Vanilla Ice and his film Cool as Ice right yeah. oh, I'm not I seeing I'm not seeing Machine Gun Kelly because I mean like I'm honest, I see Machine Gun Kelly and I'm just I see subhuman <laughs> I don't see subhuman looking at that I'm just like mm, the balls on that guy to guy. square off to square off to Con and I don't like Conor McGregor at all but dude that guy will kill you why are you squaring off to him Right, because he squared off with Conor McGregor, and then he squared off with Sean Strickland. Well, no, he didn't. Well, well, no, he said something to Sean, and Sean was like, "Dude, I think you're a geek, you're you're a loser, or something." Mm. To his face, yeah, in front of Megan, Fo uh, Megan Fox, right? Mm. And then Sean Strickland was like, "What the fuck is Megan Fox thinking?" <laughs> He's like, "I'm a real man, come to me." Like, basically, your your boyfriend or husband, whatever the fuck he is to her, mm. he's a pussy, isn't it? Mm. He's a fucking pussy. -o. I mean. I've got a lot to. I guess that will be another episode. Megan Fox has had one of the most interesting careers. career careers in terms of she, a lot has happened. That's yeah, the way to put it. yeah, yeah and, and it shows like on her taste face. That sweet cherry pie. Mm. Is it? Is it though? Yeah, but it is. She, she's not to be rude to her. She's someone that failed as a porn star. Did she do porn? No, but she should have. You can see my eyes, they went really wide for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, just like, you literally just, it was just like, new internet search unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> but she, just, she she has, there's a type of look that she has that I see a lot of porn stars as, from a particular era has. And she has that look in spades. Even, I think it's the other way around. I think porn stars have started to take after her. Yeah, yeah, no, I think, I think, I think no. she trends it. Cause just, just how like, yeah, cause just how like the that Kardashians. That era that you're talking about, that era that you're talking about, think about it. That era existed after, after Transformers. Yeah. And if you look at the Kardashians, Kardashians set a look and then everything else was based off their aesthetic. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. So I would say actually the industry moved because of her as opposed to uh, in spite of her. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I see, yeah, I do see what you mean. It, they moved because of her. Mm. Maybe I've been watching too much porn. You watch porn differently than I do. I watch porn yeah. because I'm a degenerate. You watch porn for work. Yeah. <laughs> Well, kind of yeah. like how, kind of like how I get sick of our voices, all of ours, yeah. because I have to edit this fucking podcast. <laughs> Very much how you're like, oh, there's only so many times I can hear a, hear a Tijuana hooker <laughs> say things in a dumb accent before it stops being funny. <laughs> it's like, just stuff on the cock. Let me just edit this. <laughs> it's like a guy, guy in the college just saying, going home to his wife saying, uh, look. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Uh, she's like, don't you want to see it? I've seen it all. He's yeah. like, look, unless I can put four knuckles up there. It's not going to be me. Um, but yeah, so the homeless look that he's got reminded yeah. me of a homeless thing that we got. Have we reached time now? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, cool. Last thing I'll say, two last things I'll say on yeah, this. Okay. Uh, I found this YouTuber. His mm. name's John Law. Yeah. And he found, no, dude, crazy shit. He, he, he was on the trains in New York. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, sorry, not New York, in LA. A lot of people don't know that LA yeah, has trains, trains yeah. right? Uh, if you've seen Speed, you you'll know. know. Or Collateral. Uh, or yeah. Collateral. Um, so he was, uh, he realized, he's like, um, that a lot of the poli a lot of the homeless people are actually just undercover police officers. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and like, he, there's a video of him like, 
there he's on the platform mm -hmm. on the last train before the before one final train comes to take all the police officers home hey guys i just wanted to show you the dramatic difference the police make when they trash the city that employs them and pays them so well here's what the metros looked like all my life here's the metro during closing recently all right so this is north hollywood station at closing this is what it actually looks like It's a stark contrast to uh, when the police were trashing the place trying to get funding for, to patrol the metro. There's almost nobody here. About a dozen or so people just filed off the train and left. Um, they didn't stick around. There's nobody sleeping here and shit. Uh, nobody smoking, fake crack, nothing like that. And uh, yeah, this is what it usually looks like. And here's a bunch of cops pretending to be street people. All those meandering dudes. They're all just kind of meandering around, you know? Just meandering, like they ain't getting off. Mm -hmm. And they won't, they, they, he's like, this is so weird. He's like standing there, he's filming them. Mm -hmm. And they all just like walking around being like homeless, looking like real homeless people. And you and I would never notice it. Right. But they're like in disguise because they're there. Apparently a conspiracy. <laughs> Apparently, so the police just got given a huge budget. Mm. And the reason being is because they've got all these homeless people out there yeah. causing like sleeping on the streets, pissing on the walls, causing crime, but not really crime, mm -hmm. to up the need for police officers uh. so they can get bigger budgets. Wow, this world is so... Crazy shit. And the thing is, in the video, he's like, these are all police officers. I'm filming them right now. And they're all, they're all doing that. And one of, the, one of the people that's homeless is actually an acting coach that he knows. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this is their acting coach. And they're all just here pretending to be homeless. And the reason they're all annoyed with me is because they can't go home until I leave. Is they getting off or is they ain't? The guy in the top left corner of the screen is an acting teacher at the AMDA in Hollywood. Part of their campus was across the street from this extra space location that we moved all our stuff into. The same location that the police tried to set us up at several times. When we initially posted this video earlier this year, the AMDA took his headshot off their site. When he sees my camera right now, he starts covering his face. I'm sure he's there to watch the cops trash the place and give them notes and advice or whatever, you know, teach them how to uh, be good actors. And for wow. the, the station attendants are telling him to leave. Yeah. Him, just him. They're right. saying, leave, leave, you can go. He's like, what about all of them? And they're like, they're, they're like getting in the lift, they're going up the lift and then coming back down the lift. Have you ever heard the term uh, draft compared? Like draft compared? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've ridden the metro all my life and I've never seen anything remotely close to this. None of these people are leaving the station. <laughs> They're literally going up the stairs and down the stairs and walking in circles, walking backwards. They're supposed to be clearing the station and no one's going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all just waiting for him to leave so that the facade can drop and they can all fuck off home. Right, right, Crazy right. Crazy shit, dude. That, that is insane. That's almost like the John Wick world where... Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. World the world under the world they live in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, what's it called? The, ba the Bowery King? Yeah, Bowery yeah. King. Yeah. So, and it's just like that. And so, so what happened with him was that he... I think he, like, stores his stuff in a storage locker in, in like, West Hollywood or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he went there and uh, he saw a homeless guy who was hanging around there. And he was like, this homeless guy's a police officer. He's videoing the homeless guy. Mm. The homeless guy assaults him, tells him to take the camera out of his face, assaults him, then steals his laptop, lures him to other police officers. Like, he's like, yeah, come get your shit, come get your shit. Yeah. The guy chases him. He's like, yo, you got my stuff. You assaulted me. Give me my shit back. And he's like, this guy's a police officer. He's just assaulting me. He's like a fake homeless person. <laughs> the police grab him. They tried to plant drugs on this guy Damn. because he's been kicking up a fuss about all the fake police officers. Oh my god! And like he has gone to court. They they went into his house. They raided his house and said that he's like uh, got drugs in his house. He doesn't even do drugs, but they planted drugs in his house. He's got video of it and everything. He's like trying to sue the police department. They don't wow. want him to do that shit. Wow! And That's all because he's been exposing the fact that these people aren't real homeless people. They're police officers scamming the system to get more money. Wow, crazy that's, shit. That's dude. insane. Crazy. I'm gonna show you the video after this because it's nuts. Yeah. Wow. And then I think, and then, so yes, check, everyone check that out. The last thing I want to say before I pass it off to Neil and then mm -hmm. he can close it out with us, Michelle Obama. What are your thoughts about whether or not she 
Cause I said, dude, if you go back, I said this eight months ago, back in July, I said on my Facebook, people that know me can find on my Facebook, I said close to the end of the election, sometime in May when the, the election, when the nominees for the Democratic Party will mm. close out, the Democrats are going to say that Joe Biden is not going to be able to run for one reason or another, mm-hmm. and they're going to throw in somebody else in his steed, and it's going to be Michelle Obama. Do you know what? I kind well, of... That's happened? No, it's going to happen. Oh, okay. I kind of agree that's with that. I think, I think that's what's going to happen. Be- purely because... Um, the, who's, the, who's his um, uh, vice president? Oh, uh, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Yeah. Dumb bitch. She's, she's like disappeared yeah she has bro, the worst dis- approval rating bro, of any person ever listen that woman is night crawler man <laughs> <laughs> yes, what, 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 it, what would it she's there then she's gone it's like wow and i wish i could there, do she's that just, she's like joe Biden. she's just saying words i think it's very important as you have heard from so many incredible leaders for us at every moment in time and certainly this one to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you could tell that it's like, um, okay, is this what you want? Okay. So <laughs> it's almost almost like you could see the, the fourth wall breaking. Yeah. And it's it, this is this is why, because she's not been seen anywhere. Um, they need... I mean, he, they need a buffer, and she will be a perfect buffer in terms of of swinging things. Because mm. I think she has the power to do that. I don't know how popular she is now, but she's she was she's an Obama, so there's and she's black, and black oh, you seems mean to Michelle be Michelle Obama because you switched from Kamala to Obama to yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, the thing is, here's here's what gets me back like, to 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 no no no, no, no in, right. Here's what gets me is. I know that Barack Obama was a governor. I think so, yeah. Senator. 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 So he was a senator and then from senator became president, all of that. I've never, other than that they, she went to law school, mm. I didn't know that Michelle Obama did any form of training to become a president. Mm-hmm. And I know that people, oh, but neither did Donald Trump. But I was like, but Donald Trump is a, depending on how you look at it, a successful businessman. So I imagine that being a president is not amazing, very if, much if different the, than being. The theory, being if you buy into the um, theory, yeah. Michelle Obama is also a very successful businessman. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is so like, now the- you know, it's, there's business and there's business, you know, and I just don't imagine like I think Michelle Obama being president would be for Democrats what uh, everything that Democrats or people who are Democratic leaning all of them who didn't want Trump to be president because they were like he's unfair he's this he's that he you know he's like what what has he done that would make him a good president I think that will be the same thing what Republicans will feel towards Michelle Obama because other than being the president's wife, what has she actually done I don't, that I, will give you a good enough reason to say that's the person I'm going to vote for to be president? Yeah, but we, as, we, than, as we all know, the Democrats don't need a reason to put somebody into power, my friend. Mm. You know, but Joe Biden he, he won by proxy because not only did they cheat, they cheated. I'm saying that I go fuck what YouTube says. They stole that election. If you look at that that night, the night of the voting ballots, Trump was ahead, and then all of a sudden, three hundred thousand votes come in, and a hundred percent of those votes are Joe Biden for Joe Biden. That's bullshit. Mailing ballots is bullshit, mm. and a hundred percent of those votes that came in, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand votes came in, mm-hmm. all of them were for Joe Biden. That's bullshit. Bullshit. This you can flip it. You, you like not a single one for Trump. You telling me not one? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Get man, the look, fuck out, dude. The, they stole that election. Do, do you Bullshit. know what? The, 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 the way I see this, the, it's like the hell the Simpsons always... Predict, yeah, they know what to predict. It, it just like there was a Halloween episode of the Simpsons where it was like... Um, um, Krang and Kotos. Yeah. And it says, um, it doesn't matter who you vote for, uh, your your planet is doomed. <laughs> and that's literally how I see both of these people. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, which bullshit do you want? And it's it's I'll like take, it's like take Trump. 
Fair enough. It's it's like a bear or or shark. <laughs> Which <laughs> it's just, sure, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to die, but I'll yeah. Be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no I shocks. Move, at least I can move better on land than mm. I can in water. Yeah. In water, I'm just I'm just a floating pile of bangers and mash. Do you, Do you know what? I, I'll, the last thing I'll say, mm. if anyone's gonna should be present, it should be John Peters. As in Batman, John Peters. Yes. Okay. He's. He's the only no, guy. No, because he would turn the U.S. military into one giant mech spider. spider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's what I'm carrying. Realistically, if I'm honest, the, 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 the okay, jokes aside, the person I would vote for the most mm-hmm. is actually a woman, a woman of color, mm-hmm. a veteran, yeah, and she's the about. Tulsi Gabbard. Mm-hmm. That's who I'm talking about. Tulsi, know, Gab- yeah. Tulsi Gabbard. She was the. Uh, she used to be the, the. The. I think she's either the senator or the governor for. Um, for Hawaii. Right. She's a veteran. She was a Democrat. Yes, she was on the Joe Rogan show. A few times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly who she is. Yeah, she's, she's good. She's so good. She's really she's so, good. And she's hot and that's, too. And that's why she won't. Yeah. Get anywhere. Because she went up against Hillary, made her look dumb. And yeah. then the Democratic Party basically ousted her. She, she left. The, she made a public thing. It's it's a tagged video I have mm-hmm. on my IG that I'm never going to tell anybody. Um, where, where it's it's she's like fucking Michelle. She's so basically saying I'm leaving the Democratic Party. This corrupt cabal of people. Mm-hmm. And she's been a Democrat from day dot. Mm-hmm. But she's like, nah, fuck these people. I'm going to run as independent. Just yeah. doing other shit. But she's that she should be president. That's who the person is. She's not only she got. She has poise under pressure for being a veteran. Mm-hmm. She's been in war. Yeah. She's probably killed motherfuckers. Yeah. Right? She's athletic. She's sound of mind. She's young enough still. She's everything that a president should the... be. Yeah. And and she ticks all the other boxes. She's a woman, woman of colour. Mm-hmm. Come yeah. on, man. Why the fuck are she, we not pulling our fingers out? She ticks all sides. the boxes on both sides, yet nobody's putting her forward as president. It's a cr- that that's a crime. I mean, and she also it. needs to run, but she doesn't have the financial backing because she is not. She has proven herself to be not beholden to the powers that be. Yeah, she is for the people, and that's why. Yeah, I know that's the problem. She is for the people and not for not for the powers. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, she should be fucking president. Uh, got 12 minutes it. over huh? <laughs> it got 12 minutes over Hopefully 12 minutes it. over that's yeah. fine well I'm gonna hand I'm gonna cede my last <laughs> time not to me but to my esteemed host mm-hmm. Neil well I'm going to say that uh, I think we should call it a day okay because <laughs> no because I was gonna do some luxuries but okay. that would be too long too long got you no other conspiracy theory you wanna hear us with no other bullshit you wanna go no, 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 no. Dolphins. Dolphins. D- they'll if they if they had if they could breathe and walk on land, we would all be dead. Like the episode know. of The Simpsons. Yeah, you, you say that, but um, apparently the dolphins are. Was I watching Joe? Oh, yeah, was Joe Rogan? Intelligent. I know that, but, the but well, dolphins are freaking. But, yeah. well. but but the apparently the they'll be. Apparently, if they were on land, they'll be serial killers, and they would fuck everything. Do you know that? We already have them. They yeah. dance with your people. No, <laughs> that's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. <laughs> no. Too far. You go on a jail. You go on a jail. <laughs> Joe's just having a little. <laughs> Damn. Dude, I saw. I saw. Do you remember that Victoria's Secret Down Syndrome chick? Do you remember? No. What the fuck that, are you talking Victoria's about? Victoria's Secret had like a Down Syndrome chick mm-hmm. that they wanted to put forward for their for their like the angels. Like their, one of their angels, yeah. And I was like, yo, them cheeks would get handy clapped, boy. <laughs> I would fucking ruin her. Are you, are you typing in the word bitch? <laughs> Just type in type in um, Down Syndrome Victoria's Secret. You'll find out. She's a smoke show, man. She's a, she's. You have to. You have to. When put I that... saw her, I was like, "Yeah, I'm down. I'm yeah. down. She's DTF, bro. She's down to fuck." You have to put that clip of Tropic Thunder in. Wait, there she is. Look at her. I can't do that. No. She's a grown woman. Yeah, you can I, look. I, no, I, I couldn't. No, I can't. She's a grown up. She's yeah, over I'm, I'm age. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. That that's not what I'm looking away for. It's I just I can't. 
You can't be prejudiced against disabilities, Joe. It's got enough to do with that. <laughs> it's to do with my memories. When I was nine, I got molested by a guy with Down syndrome. <laughs> Don't laugh, Brandon. I'm not laughing. And what I think, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it, man. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, man. Like, I just can't do it, man. It's wrong. What can I ask you? Would you, are you down? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, 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 she's Look, fine, bro. She's an adult. Yes, very, she's physically attractive. Yes, like, the, very nice. So other than other than the condition that she has, the extra chromosome, there is nothing in Did, the way. It's yeah. it's no, it's not it's not that. It's not, uh, you guys. I don't know if you guys ever used to watch Brass Eye or uh, or um. Uh, it's uh, Chris Morris did something in this regard once, and I can't un unsee it in my mind. Oh. Well, she's Brazilian. And uh, her name's Sofia Giral. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, speaking of hot chicks, let's talk about one more hot chick I want to mention. Mm. Amrita. Our Amrita. Right. I want to give her a shout out. All right. I spoke to her today. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, because you and I both agree, and I'm sure Joe does too, she's yeah. the best person ever. Yes. Ever. She uh, is the. And we have partners, is, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, she is she's literally. The, she's the, the female D Land. No. Well, I don't know. I don't know. D and we like love Dylan. Right? She's better than Dylan. <laughs> she's the person. I've said this before. She's the person that we need to send to space to 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 save us from the aliens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so the thing. I would say if if aliens came to Earth and they were like, right, we have all the technology, we have all the intelligence in the world, send us one person to prove, yourselves. <laughs> to prove why humanity should exist. And read as you can She's the Ed Harris in the Abyss. You know when the aliens are about to kill everyone? Yeah. And then he stays there like, oh, but you know you told this bitch I love you after you slapped her a few times. Come on, breathe, baby. God damn it, breathe. God damn you bitch, you never backed away from anything in your life. Now fight! 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 Right now! Do it! Fight, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I see that, that whole, that whole part of that film made me fall in love with that film is because it showed me how much he fucking cares about this woman yeah. and uh, um and that's how much we care about amrita <laughs> and the aliens will too but they'll love way. her they'll like, go but Damn, you think yeah. about it i i can imagine like i know you probably do right you have a shit list yeah it's my shit list do you have a shit list mm -hmm. what, shit when list you say shit list what does that mean as in like you have a list of people who are like, this person's on my shit list it, yes it, it, yeah the, 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 better, the... the better version of that is if if i had a death note Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Am I writing your name down on that, in that book? Yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, yeah. But this way, the person I say is at the very top of my shit list is someone who offended her. Oh. oh. I don't know who this person is. I just know that they exist. Oh, the future, per the, some future person that will offend. No, 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 no. no. The person who, the who exists in real life. Oh, this person is real. They who, did who, something to offend her. That's like kicking a puppy. Yeah, but they decided to offend her. There, the head of, head, of, head of my shit list. And I will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you. You're gonna have to call the fucking United Nations and get a fucking binding resolution to keep me from fucking destroying you. I am talking scorched earth, motherfucker. I will massacre you. I will fuck you up. Do I, I got people. I got people who try to. He doesn't. He doesn't me. even know him. He just knows that somebody. I actually know the him. person exists. And I got people who I could like know their na know their name postal address who've done things to offend me and they are lower down in this list than that person wow i mean who there's there's nothing in me that would want to offend her if you know her even if i didn't even just by meeting her it, she, mm -hmm. she has a very but then again most people are idiots there you go I, i'm i always project the my thinking that other people have the same thinking as me, but as as common a, sense ain't common. No, it really isn't. And um, as uh, it took me about forty odd years to realize that, oh, a lot of people are stupid. Yeah. Okay, I don't feel too and bad. People, the people who would have, I'd rather somebody talk bad about Mother Teresa, you know, because she was like a Albanian human trafficking pirate. Um, before they say anything bad, yeah, that's what mm. she was, man. She was a horrible person, apparently. Um, uh, before they say anything bad about fucking Amrita. Am okay. So I'm going to close it off. Mm -hmm. Amrita, 10 out of 10? Yep. 
10 out of 10 would love again. Is she dying or something? No, I'm just no, saying. Okay. Just giving her a shout out. <laughs> okay, giving okay, a shout out. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. It's just the way you were talking about it almost. No, I'm almost. just saying 10 out of 10 okay, would love okay. again. She's the best. We love her. Yeah. Okay, she's okay. She's great. She's just a really good person. Sometimes mm. you just need to say somebody's amazing and she's amazing. We love mm. her. We so, can also use this for her obituary as well. Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, I mean, what the fuck you? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, no. Hey, listen. She's you just got your name on the shit the, list. Yeah, she's living longer than any of us. Yeah, she not live us all. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 13. In the can. In the can. You, and you've been? Huh? You've been? I've been Neil. I've been L. And I've been L. 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 Oh, yeah, I said this. I've been Jose. L. L. Joe. L. Joe. L. Joe. L. Joe. <laughs> we love you. Everybody, go uh, go check out Dune Three when it comes out eventually. In the future, this this In is the future. Yeah, yeah, message from the future. Dune 1 and 2. Oh my god, Dune Three was so amazing. Message from the future. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>